Passover is coming up. I wanted to share some interesting details with you about certain parts of the Haggadah, the part of the Seder. And a big part of that is the matzah. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about the shmura matzah. Now, the matzah, shmura matzah, is handmade. So it's round. And because it's handmade, it's just like the handmade matzahs that was made by our forefathers back in Egypt. So it's very commemorative of what we are celebrating. Uh, additionally, it's shmura. It's guarded. Guarded that from the time the grain is cut in the field, throughout the process of, of grinding it and then preparing the matzahs, throughout this process, the flour is guarded so it should not become leavened, chametz. Anytime water touches it, the flour, within 18 minutes, it becomes leavening, it becomes chametz. We want to avoid that because we're not allowed to have any chametz in our possession or to eat any during the entire time of Passover. So Shemura matzahs, three handmade Shemura matzahs at our Seder. What's the three about? Well, there is some more interesting uh, uh, interpretations into the idea. There's Kohen, there's Levi, there's Yisrael, the three different types of Jews. There's also the three uh, primary Jews involved in the, in the Geul of the redemption. There's Moses and there's Aaron and there's sister Miriam. So these are all parts of the idea of the three. But there's a simpler idea that it comes to it. Every time we have a Jewish holiday, Shabbos, as well as any other Jewish holiday, we have two whole loaves of bread. That's reminiscent of the man, the man that fell in the, the bread that, from heaven that fell in the desert. Every day there would be enough man for everyone to gather for their families for that one day. But Friday, you'd gather a double portion because it wouldn't come on Shabbos. It would not fall on Shabbos. And so you'd gather a double portion and you'd have that. So in commemoration of the man that fell for us in the Midbar in the desert in Egypt, uh, as we left Egypt, so we have two whole breads, every Shabbos and every Yom Tov. We have two whole breads. The third one is the called the Lechem Ani, the poor man's bread. And the poor man's bread, when a poor man receives bread, he's not sure what tomorrow is going to bring, so he doesn't eat it at the same time. He'll break that in, in parts, and he'll save some for the future. So we have three matzahs on our Seder plate uh, at, that forms us a part of our celebration there. And during, when we make the hamotzi, we're going to use the whole breads. But before that, the, the middle matzah actually gets broken. And part of it is put away for the future. We actually use that part for the afikoman. Afikoman means dessert. And it's really more about eating the paschal lamb at the end of the meal. The last thing we want to, to taste is the paschal lamb and keep that flavor in our mouths. But since we don't have the temple right now, as of this recording, maybe tonight. But since we don't have the temple right now, we can't bring a Paschal lamb. And since we can't bring a Paschal lamb, so we can't have the Paschal lamb at, as our afikoman, our dessert at the end of the meal. So we save half of the middle matzah and that rep becomes a representative of that time when we would eat the, um, the afikoman, the Paschal lamb. But that's why we have three breads, three whole breads, three whole matzahs at our Seder plate. And I'm hoping that will be a refresher for you as you head into Passover.